killing a teenage friend, boasted to police about the gunfire as he was driven to the jail after his arrest. Video of his conversation was just some of the disturbing evidence that was presented to jurors in a Fairfax County courtroom today. Jordan Cochran also faces an aggravated, malicious wounding charge for shooting another man in the eye. In a story you'll only see on News 4, Northern Virginia uh, Bureau Chief Julie Carey not has a murder to jurors. <laughs> right. Accused killer Jordan Cochran bragging about committing murder almost from the moment he was arrested. Prosecutors playing this video for jurors, capturing the conversation between Cochran and an officer who helped transport him to jail. You just murdered someone. Two people. Two people. You hear me? Two. The gunfire took place on January 8th, 2022 at a bus stop and convenience store along Route 1. Cochran's accused of firing one fatal shot at an acquaintance, 18-year-old Kebron Lee Gay. Police say Gay was shot after an earlier fist fight between the two over a pair of shoes and a cell phone. Prosecutors say Cochran then fled to a nearby 7-Eleven, commanding a couple there to give him a ride. When they refused, he allegedly shot the male passenger in the eye, leaving him blinded. As he rode with yeah. police, Cochran seemed to believe he'd killed both men. Hey, and I finally killed somebody. That was my, these are my first two bodies, guys. Late and listen, this is a window. I've been trying to tell you guys this for a while. And I know Wicked um, knows this, but I've been trying to tell you this for a while. That there's, there's, there's some some of these kids, a body is like the goal. Get catching the body. accomplishment of their lives. Well, like yeah, the, it's, 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 it puts you in a in a rarefied air. It puts you in a status amongst the life. Because these kids are street kids. They're not, like, trying to be nothing. Like, oh, there's, they just need to get their CDL. This kid don't want a CDL. This is, um, he wants to do what he's doing. And, um, and in the life he's living, this puts him in a, especially if he'd gotten away with it and he was just back out on the streets, this puts him in a, you know, he's like a made guy now. It's like in the well, mob when they make you. When they interview the family members, they tend to lie and say that they graduated high school and that was the biggest accomplishment of their of their life. Yeah, now nah, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. I, I I understand where this guy's coming from, man. I mean, when you're in a place like that, man, like like he just got. I think he just got his ass whipped earlier that day by by the kid he shot. Yeah, man. He he and he he he. He wanted to catch a body, and he he finally has. He thought he caught two, and this is how they this is how they yep. process this. They're different than you. Well, a body. We we spoke about this before, but a body is that you're basically you basically have achieved the highest status you can as a sun man. You're you're a cold blooded savage. Yep. That's the highest form of, uh, of Sun Man that you could possibly be over a millionaire, uh, oh, yeah. a, a senator, a doctor, a, fucking, a, doctor, a lawyer, uh, a family man. That, that, what What about an NBA All Star? That's, mm, that's way, that's that's way up there. No, that, that, that breaks up there. <laughs> NBA All Star, that's not, nah, that, that might be. On par with catching body. Bro, bro. The, the NBA All Star <laughs> niggas, they be trying to check in with the with the with the savages, bro. <laughs> Steven true. Jackson, right? He was it? Was he an All Star? I don't think he was All Star. Yeah, I think. Wait, was he? I'm not sure. I know he was pretty good at one point. Once, if he was, nah, a he was good, but he wasn't All Star. He was good. But all I know about him is that he was in the Madness and the Paddies with uh Ron Artest. That's all I know yeah. about that guy. Shout out to um Savrix, man. Savrix in the building, the deep one. He's so deep. Savrix, Savrix, don't think that this blank doesn't mean something. This is some deep message in this blank square he left, man. I promise you, man. Um, salute to Caleb West, man. He says, I'm from Jackson, Mississippi, and even my city refused to believe that the sons enjoy the destruction they kill. Man, that's think about that. Think about that shit right there. We did Jackson the other day, man. Male passenger in the eye, leaving him blinded. 
As he rode with police, Cochran seemed to believe he'd killed both men. Hey, and I finally killed somebody. That was my, these are my first two bodies, y'all. Uh. Later adding, I killed two but I proved what I had to prove. Cochran also Dang. rapping for police and admitting he was anxious about being jailed. And I'm honestly scared. I don't know what's going to happen, bro. This is my first time going to the big boy giant. The what the hell? Be the last time as well. We've got, we've got to be out until 2095. This is a this is a son man who's having a stream of content. And listen, this isn't this is this is more normal than you would than you would than you should believe, man. I know dudes who snitched on their brothers. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, this talking and jibber jabbering is way more normal than you would. When you think about the stoic omerta sun thug. Uh, that we just, I, I, I caution you, to, I, I, I implore you just to go watch First 48. What's that? Just go two watch weeks? that show first. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, yeah, a, it's an American show called, yeah. but they chronicle a crime from the beginning, from the from the time the murder happens in the conversation. Right. Oh, yo, 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 my favorite, my favorite one, one I was when he tried to put it on his mama. His mama was driving the car when the shooting happened, when the murder yeah. happened. The cooperative, the statements, the cooperation, the interrogations that go on, yo, this is very common. This right here, what he's doing, this nervous snitching uh, on yourself snitching is something that is very common, man. Very, very common, man. Yeah. We're just getting to see it. And also the things he's saying, like he's not... He's he's he says crazy shit, but the talking and the jibber jabbering and the telling too much, and all that stuff to the police, uh, is 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 very very common among some. Did you hear? He said, "I I proved it to myself." Yeah. He he. Listen, he, man. You know this, Nick Tow. You you from Philly, man. You know this, niggas. Being around niggas, niggas keep so much shit going they try you they push you to the edge yep. they ride you they um yeah, fuck with yeah. you about things you can't control who you know what I'm saying niggas nigga yeah. talk about some shit you have no control over yeah like man. all day long they they're mean they're bullies they're um crass they're rude they're lewd they're disrespectful so if you're around Sun Men a lot, like this kid probably is, he he's to probably it. had to let a lot of shit ride. He's probably been punked a lot. He's probably um, had to like swallow his pride, tuck his tail. Like we all have plenty of time just being yeah. around Suns to survive. Yeah. And you know, but but you know what? I I you know just being around Sun Men for so long now, right? And just watching you know, them, man. You and and in particular the violent Sun Men, right? I I came to the con well one of my conclusions is is these these dudes and I'm sorry I but they're to be killed right because you should see how these sun men do each other like they're like everything you just said but like on a whole nother level where yeah, like you. where it makes sense it makes sense the the violence in in Blackistan right because not only are they inherently violent already but they they just try you. Like they wanted yeah. they to be killed. I... Yeah, bro. They uh, like you said, I if you hang around Sunman for an extended period of time, not I'm talking about like if you're around Sunman that in the mix, yeah, in like the if mix. you in the mix, if you if you're one of them niggas that don't take certain, if you don't like you said take certain things on the chin, let some shit slide. You will have to do something. You will have to show <laughs> that jury a savage, bro. At the age of six. Yeah, yeah man. It too. The thing about it is some men respect that shit, too. They respect the savage. The savage. But here's the thing. Being a savage could cost you your fucking life, man. Huh? That's the whole fucked up part about your it. Freedom. Like, like, he may get respect. For going back and shooting the kid he got in the fight with earlier, but now he's gonna do a bunch of time. So it's like it's just so much. Everything's so costly in Blackistan. 
everything costs so much. You know what I'm saying? Um, to be who you want to be or to, to, to have status, it costs you your soul. It costs you your your, your mental um, health. It costs you your um, your your safety. You your humanity. Yeah, your humanity. Everything's so expensive in Blackistan, man. Yeah, that's if you want their in the eye, leaving him blinded. As he rode with police, Cochran seemed to believe he'd killed both men. Hey, and I finally killed somebody. That was my, these are my first two bodies, y'all. Uh. Later adding, I killed two but I proved what I had to prove. Cochran also rapping for police and admitting he was anxious about being jailed. And I'm honestly scared. I don't know what's going to happen, bro. This is my first time going to the big boy giant. The young man who was killed, who went by Kev Gay, had recently graduated from Mount Vernon High School, where he played on the football team. The victim's father testified that just two days before the shooting, his son brought Cochran home, asking if he could stay with their family because he'd been kicked out of his own house. Wow. But once the victim's father learned that Cochran had a gun, he asked him to leave. Gay's father and relatives list. Wow. So he invited the son man that killed him to his home. Trying to help him out, man. His father no said I always said this. I used to say this all the time back in the day. No act of kindness. No good deed goes unpunished. Yeah. Goes unpunished in Black and State. Ball team. The victim's father testified that just two days before the shooting, his son brought Cochran home, asking if he could stay with their family because he'd been kicked out of his own house. But once the victim's father learned that Cochran had a gun, he asked him to leave. Gay's father and relatives listening as prosecutors played the 911 call Cabron made right after the shooting. His final words, heart-wrenching to hear as he repeated, I'm dying, please come get me, I'm dying. Someone shot me, I'm dying. Damn, he knew it. He knew it. He knew it. That's crazy. That's crazy. He knew that shit. If, if he would have seen, if he would have been an Ignatian, you know, brother, he would have known better. You know? You, you can't yeah. kid this goofy out, man. I mean, what do you do? It's kind of tough, right? Yeah, it, it, but the dad did the right thing because as crazy as that kid seems, this kid might have... Um, Harmed his whole family. If this is the type of kid that'll crash out and kill your whole family over yeah, like, bro. whatever the argument was. Well, you should have had a gun yourself. No, you don't think. No, nah, this, yeah. this thing is crash dummy, though. If, if he has a gun, I mean, I need a gun too. I don't think the kid that he killed was that type of kid. I, I like when I look at this kid's pictures, the type of kid that is out there don't smile like this in pictures. Hell you know, no. They don't have. They don't. Fuck they no. don't. They don't smile like that. That that look. They have a look that 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 signals something. You know the look on their face. They even looking down or they, you know, they, straight face. Oh, son, men you know. that are active like that. They never. You never gonna see them smile like you said. They're never like gonna be the, having the McDonald's smile and shit like that. Yeah, he got his lame shit yeah. to them, bro. You look yeah, like a goofy that, doing it. Yeah, he got that. He got multiple pictures where he's smiling like that too. Like, nah, this this kid, this was a good kid, man. He was trying to help. He was trying to help his, uh, a wayward friend out, and it just like went crazy wrong. Gay had recently graduated from Mount Vernon High School, where he played on the football team. The victim's father testified that just two days before the shooting, his son brought Cochran home, asking if he could stay with their family because he'd been kicked out of his own house. But once the victim's father learned that Cochran had a gun, he asked him to leave. Gay's father and relatives listening as prosecutors played the 911 call Cabron made right after the shooting. His final words, heart-wrenching to hear as he repeated, I'm dying, please come get me, I'm dying. Someone shot me, I'm dying. The operator asks, where are you? He says again, I don't know. I'm dying. Police arrived and performed CPR, but Kevin Day died from a gunshot yeah, wound like, in the chest. Kid. That wasn't, this kid wasn't out there, man. That kid wasn't out there, man. That kid was a good kid. And he probably had a friend like th that. That kid was probably like, you know, like just one of his friends that just was wayward. 
you know, you have friends in high school like that. When you're in high school, you have you have that. You have friends that, you know, maybe that kid played football, got kicked off the team or something. Maybe that's how they met. I don't know, but whatever. They were friends at some point, or they were acquaintances. If and, you know, oh, my fault. Yeah, go ahead. If you're a son man and you know enough son man, I, I, I feel like the odds of you knowing a, a crash dummy is like damn near <laughs> one to one, man. Like yeah, at some point, for sure. Just, yeah, so it's just you don't have to be bothered about it to just be around niggas like this. Like That's you don't true. have to no, be bothered about it at all. Because it's a lot you of have some in your family. Yeah, you gonna have some of your family, and like you hear him, he's he's trying to he was trying to prove himself mm. to himself that he was a warrior that he that he was bothered by this. So it's always gonna be plenty of sunmen like this. Like I just feel bad that they had to he had to demonstrate his his uh his inner warrior to on the sunman right here. So right, he killed this kid. And a, and a foot. <laughs> yeah, it's just bad look. That's it. He probably he fucked shot him up. This kid and he shot a stranger. So in the end, his thug card is still revoked. He ain't killed no ops. He killed a good kid and he shot a stranger yeah. in the eye trying to carjack. It's a crash dummy. That's it. Yeah, he ain't, okay. still like, he, he ain't he ain't killed no dudes from the other side. He ain't killed no none, so, nobody who did who put in no work against his hood. Boy, you think that he matters? That. These clowns? Yeah, yeah but I was just no, savage. not to him, I, but what I'm talking about on the street, like I, I, I think, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but in the but in the joint, I in the joint. My, oh yeah, around, yeah. It'll get yeah, around yeah. that he did what he did. That he didn't kill Ab, and they still will embrace him like he won. Like it, 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 it's nothing. That, it's what it is. Yeah, that's all. Come and say he. That's the the irony of this is he thinks that he proves something to. Uh, he feels like on the on on the inside, you can't tell this man he's not a. a I mean, he is a savage, but when you're talking about Sunman, you killed a nigga that ain't about it, and then you shot some some random people that uh, didn't give you a ride. When you break on the on the face, it looks like you know he's bothered by the ass nigga. But once they break the story down, they're like, "Oh yeah, this nigga just a little crash dummy." That's it. Nah, nah, they're not gonna give. A, a, he's gonna be in there with the other song, man. Nothing. Playing cards, they're all the same. You you could have killed mm. your ops, or you could have hit a random straight bullet with somebody. You the same shit. I promise you, mm. chief. I believe you, man. Um, uh, because right. it's this, it's, it's the uh, in the prison, but I'm talking about on the street, yeah, yeah, on the street. In, in, yeah, yeah in, the, in prison, yeah, it's probably gonna be a different dynamic. Um, this is, oh, let's see this. we have some exclusive video you will only see on News 4. Three people are under arrest for shooting and killing a landscaper.